Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to tear down this CT12B turbocharger from my Toyota 1KZ TE engine. Um, there's a lot of oil in the, in the intake side of the turbo and the, my truck was blowing a lot of smoke, so I think the seals are gone. So I'm gonna strip this thing down and take a closer look. So that's that intake section off. You can see the turbine here. There is a lot of oil in here. A lot of thick black stuff, so it seems to me that that's come from the seals, but it's not conclusive. One thing I've noticed is that there does seem to be an awful lot of play in this turbine. This is the first turbo I've had in bits, but this doesn't seem normal. You can actually move it so much that it, it hits off the side and you, just, you can't rotate it anymore. So I suspect this turbo is gobbed. So on the exhaust side, we have a lot of soot. Um, no oil though. I'm gonna do a closer inspection on the turbo. So I'm gonna take this compressor housing off and I will look, have a look and see if the turbine has been making contact with the housing. So on closer inspection of the compressor housing, there's no scratch marks where the, the turbine has made contact with it. So maybe it's not that badly out of spec. I mean, there's markings there, but I think that's just from oil. There's no actual scratch marks because you can still see the machining marks in the surface. So I need to use this dial gauge indicator to measure the play on the shaft and the point at which you measure the play is right in the middle here and um, through the oil outlet for the turbo. Now I don't have a stand for this thing so I'm going to try and fabricate something out of this piece of steel I found and I'll rig it up in the vise. So this is the setup I've come up with. I basically bent the bracket into shape, bolted the dial indicator into it and set the turbo up so that it's in a solid position for me to measure the difference. 46, 55, 46, 54. So the dial gauge is going from 46 to 54. So that's only 0.08 millimeters of play. The maximum allowable is 0.11 so it is within spec so the reason i stripped this turbo down in the first place was to check to see if there's any evidence of the oil seals leaking now there was a lot of oil in the compressor side um, when i first took it to bits i've since cleaned it out what i'm going to do now is fill up the turbo with oil and spin it and see if any oil starts to leak out of this little gap. 
So I've left the turbo for a few hours and we can see that oil is dripping down from the shaft. So the seals are definitely away. So what I'm going to do is replace the turbo and send this one away to get reconditioned.